few important points regarding the urine dipstick assay for the proteinuria for the MD and the DM resident. This urinary dipstick for protein analysis, it's basically a semi-quantitative test. As we know, the normal 24-hour urine protein excretion is less than 150 milligram. And what is the use of this urine dipstick assay? It can detect up to 15 milligram per deciliter of albumin. Suppose if the patient is collecting the urine in the container, it can detect up to 15 milligram per deciliter, not per the 24 hour. Suppose if it is there, it is sensitive to detect that much amount of albumin. The normal value is usually less than 14 milligram per deciliter in a random urine sample. And the, this the urine dipstick assay is based on the mechanism, the protein preferentially it detects the albumin which re reacts with the dye bromocrisol blue and there is a change in the color of the uh, reagent which is present. Based on this only we are detecting how much albumin is present and this is the mechanism. The protein detects with the dye buffer combination resulting in the color change and the color is compared with the, the standard color which is given in the bottle. Based on that, we are detecting the level of protein. And what is the important point to note? There is one important question. What is the quantification for the dipstick? Suppose if the patient is having 1 plus protein area, what is the quantification? The quantification comes in two forms. What is the amount of approximate protein present in the bottle? And another quantification is what is the approximate amount the patient is excreting in the 24 hour period? So there are two quantification. This usually creates confusion in exam. Like what is the quantification they are asking? Whether they are telling what is the quantification amount of protein present in this particular sample and you can approximate it to the amount of protein he is excreting per 24 hours. So if it is a trace, that means the approximate amount of protein is 15 milligram per deciliter in that sample. If it is 1 plus, it is 30 milligram. If it is 2 plus, 100 milligram. 3 plus, 300. 4 plus, 400 milligram per deciliter in the sample. Not the 24 hour. And see the quantification. It is per deciliter. 1 deciliter, 10 deciliter is equal to 1000 ml. Or 1 liter. So see this calculation clearly. So this is the quantification in that sample. Suppose if you ask for what might be the amount of protein the patient is excreting, this quantification is over here. Suppose if it is trace, patient might be excreting around 100 to 200 milligram per 24 hour. If it is crossing 2 plus, it is around 1500 milligram per 24 hour, that is 1.5 gram. 3 plus comes under the nephrotic range. Suppose a nephrotic 3 plus is there, the patient might be excreting nephrotic proteinuria range in 24 hour. So that's why you need the 24 hour quantification. So this is the quantification and what are the factors which affect this purely depends on the amount of protein in the sample the patient have collected if it is dilute so it might be falsely negative. So what are the parameters which give false positive result even in a highly alkaline urine, a highly concentrated urine, even hematuria, other drugs like penicillin, sulfonylurea, tolbutamide, these can also give a false positive results in the dipstick uh, protein estimation as i told if the urine is very dilute so the specific gravity is less than 1.015 or a very very dilute sa urine sample that also gives a false negative dipstick value it doesn't mean patient doesn't have protein urea it have to be confirmed with the quantification and uh, since it is detects mainly albumin the non-albumin or the low molecular weight low blends might not be detected so that is how it is also one of the diagnostic clue to diagnose multiple myeloma because this might be negative 24 hour urine quantification might be positive because the mechanism here it mainly detects the albumin so these are all the important points regarding urinary dipstick assay and this is the quantification just it, a medicine resident should be aware of this quantification what is the 24 hour estimate and a dm nephrology resident should be aware of both the things